Hello everyone, welcome to the Jeff for Banks video blog. I usually do these when I don't have a lot of time uh, to do a regular blog or something is really gnawing at me. And something that has, was really gnawing at me this past week when I was at a strategic planning retreat and the investment bankers came in and they said matter of factly uh, that, you know, how do you compete with JP Morgan spending a billion or two billion dollars on technologies and the community banks couldn't compete in that uh, in that genre. I thought it was a false narrative, and let me tell you why. Uh, interestingly, uh, you know what has come out of that uh, two billion dollar investment. I remember when we were helping a very small financial institution merge with another very small financial institution, and the CEO said to me, "I compared feature." By feature a Bank of America's mobile app to our mobile app and couldn't find a difference and uh, I always wonder when people say that the very large banks can out invest community banks which is true that's a factually true statement uh, and therefore their technology is superior I challenge those people to say what technology has Bank of America or Wells Fargo implemented that a community bank, one, would want to implement, and two, can't implement. So what technology can a very large financial institution uh, implement that a community bank can't implement and that a community bank would want to implement? Because I remember very recently a bank director said to me that she tried uh, uh, Erica, and quite frankly, Erica sucks. Her words, not mine. So, you know, possibly uh, th those technologies we don't want to implement. Maybe they're not going to be widely adopted. But when they are, if they are widely adopted, could not community banks then rent those technologies instead of invest to create those technologies? I had a recent discussion with a, uh, a banking reporter when she reported on Pivotus, which is the Skunk Works operation of Umqua Bank, a darling in the fintech community. And I asked her uh, after the article was published, I'm like, what was the return that Umqua got on Pivotus? How much money did they put into it versus how much revenue? What was the return on investment of Pivotus? Pivotus of which I was told, well, I'm not going to run write an article that that uh, a bank needs to get a return on investment from technology investments, it'll inhibit their technology investments. And I think that's where we are. I've been following social media wise, uh, the conference Money 2020, and you have all of these technology aficionados, uh, financial technology aficionados going out to Money 2020, talking about all these great new technologies that are coming down the pike. I wonder if they back test to say, you know, Money 2020 back in 2016 or 2015, how many of those technologies actually worked out and how much capital went into technologies that either didn't work or didn't receive widespread uh, uh, adoption. So interestingly, the Money 2020 conference went on at the exact same time, the, the US version of the Money 2020 conference went on at the exact same time of the American Bankers Association annual convention in New York. So that tells me a little bit of something that if the money 2020 folks, we're not concerned about attracting bankers that would otherwise go to one of the largest U.S. banking conferences. Who's going to these conferences? And uh, are they actually talking about implementable ideas at these conferences? So if a technology company like uh, or a bank wants to invest $100 million, $200 million, $1 billion, $2 billion dollars in a skunk work operation so we could have hundreds of programmers on the 15th floor of their headquarters uh, putting money into a black hole, blue sky, and on what they could try next. If I were a community banker, I would say, let them, let the competition throw money into a black hole because when those technologies become more widely adoptable, you could simply rent them. Let them, let equity investors, reap the uh, losses from developing technologies into the future. So 
If I were a community bank, I would say one, focus your technology investments on things that are strategically important to you. Break open your strategic plan, look at your strategically important customer base, improve the customer experience, look at how you do things process-wise and figure out how you can do it more uh, through AI or anything like that. Let technology investors, equity investors, uh, suffer the cost of, of experimentation and you simply rent it when it's, when it's more widely adoptable and proven technologies and don't believe the hype. This is Jeff on the road driving to the Bloomsburg University final women's soccer game of the season.